Hi, it's Oink. Uh, this is an impromptu video uh, because we have a new way of uh, bootstrapping uh, in Vera's desktop. What you need to do is click help, show binary folder, and go into Vera's D. Uh, this is pretty small for you. What you'll need to do then is close down your wallet and wait for it to close completely. And in the meantime, you'll need to look for a file called fetch bootstrap. If you don't have that, you'll need to upgrade your, uh, your various desktop wallet to version 0.7.2-1 or higher, because those are the first boot, uh, releases that have them. Okay, what you see now is uh, it has closed various desktop. I'll double click uh, fetch bootstrap and I specifically got a very large uh, font face so you could read it. Okay, enter blockchain data directory or leave blank for default. If you did not specify a custom directory for your chain, you can just press enter here. Enter. And it asks you, do you want to install in? And then the folder and you type Y and yes, uh, Y. Um, existing blockchain data found. Do you want to override it? Yes, you do. It's going to remove the files that uh, will be overwritten and it will start fetching the bootstrap right away. Okay, that took a couple of minutes. It downloaded two files, the bootstrap itself and a checksum file, and it's verifying the download. That will take uh, some time as well. It's a, uh, uh, a checksum process. And when it's verified, it will start extracting the virus blockchain into the correct uh, location right away. And now you see it's ready. It's, it says it's uh, installed it successfully in my chain folder. Okay, in the meantime, I exit uh, uh, the batch file. It was done running. It said it did it uh, completely, it was finalized. Um, and I started up various desktop. So I can close this one, we'll maximize this one, and you'll see it's uh, fully bootstrapped. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.